What's up YouTube, Dan6 here, and I am starting off a new series which I personally think is... I don't know, it's something I've wanted to do, I think it's a pretty cool idea. Um, I'm going to be going through every single release version of Minecraft. Uh, I'm starting with this version of InfDev, um, and basically what I'm going to be trying to do is complete the game. I want to get every single obtainable block from every single version of Minecraft. So I'm starting here, um, at InfDev, and I'm going to try and collect every single block that was obtainable in this version, and then I'm going to move on to the next version. Collect all the new blocks, all the new features, move on to the next one, so on and so forth. So I, personally, I haven't played, like, I, I got into Minecraft beta, like, one point, oh, I can't remember the exact version, it was the one just before they added beds. So I remember beds were a huge thing. So, I haven't played anything this early, so this is going to be a somewhat new experience for me. And it should be pretty fun. So I'm just getting started with, you know, the basic sort of punch tree get wood Minecraft thing. For some reason I don't have game sounds and I don't know why. Um, I don't know if it's just this version of Minecraft, but unfortunately it's just a little bit of silence. I'm going to have to like tweak it and stuff, see what I can do, but yeah, for now. I've just got to put up with silence. So I'm going to have to set up some kind of early base camp. Um, oh, a bunch of pigs. That's actually quite handy. Um, I might even just... That patch of sand over there looks fine. Just for somewhere nice and early to set up. I might just get a crafting table. Um, you know, furnace, that sort of thing. I'm going to be storing all of the items in chests as well. I'm not going to build like a monument because it will be forever expanding. Um, and there's no way to... Whoops, that's not what I meant to do. Um, yeah, if I build a monument, it'll just be forever expanding and it'll take up way too much time. So I'm just going to put stuff in chests and like label them based on the version they are. Well, I'll be doing that once I can get signs. One thing that I'm re that's really throwing me off here is... Um, lack of keyboard shortcuts, like you can't, or mouse shortcuts even, like you can't just click and drag, um, shift click doesn't do anything, also did not mean to do that, I want, I'm gonna get a pickaxe, I was just gonna make a shovel but a stone one won't, a uh, wood one won't last very long. Now I'm playing this on the hard difficulty so it is very important that I get some kind of shelter nice and early because otherwise I'm just going to have creepers all over the place. Um, and that would not be fun. So I've got myself... I'm going to clear out some of this sand just so I've got like a nice flat starting area for my base. That one stone is going to be enough to get me a shovel. Like so. Alright. And yeah, now I'm just going to clear all this out, and start building a base. Yeah, so I got a little bit lazy. I realized as I was clearing that side out that it would be just as easy for me to clear out the other side and have a decent area to set up a little house, so that's what I ended up doing. Um, Alright, I'm going to need to get a bit more wood. Um, I'm not going to do anything... Oh wow, can't even shift click. To get the full stack out. Okay, I'm not going to do anything too fancy right now. Um, just like a basic wood plank hut because yeah, it's already past midday and I really don't want to be stuck fighting creepers. I don't even think this version of Minecraft has um, the... I don't think I can make charcoal. So I'm going to have to quickly get some coal too, to set up some torches, to defend myself for the night. So I'm going to quickly slap this house together. Um, I use the term house loosely, because it's probably not going to have a complete roof. Can I make doors? I hope I can make doors. take this, put it inside the bunker. 
and I think I see some coal over there near the gravel. So I'll quickly get that once I pop this down. Do I have door? Yes, I can make doors. Oh wow, look at that door texture. That's great. And they don't stack. Okay. Door. At least that's something that's never changed. Alright, I've got a I've still got my wooden pickaxe, so I'm gonna go quickly grab this coal. I really like this area actually. It's gonna be fun. Um I'm gonna be carrying each save on between worlds as well. Um sorry, I'm gonna carry the world on between different versions of the game. So um once I move in like once I've completed uh InfDev, I'll be moving on to Alpha and I'll be keeping this world. So I'm going to have to be very careful and hopefully not travel too far because world generation is going to be a pain in the ass. Um, if things start to get too huge, then we're going to start having problems. I'm also, I'm not trying to speed run this by any means. I'm just, just sort of having a bit of fun with it. Um, you know, I might do a couple episodes where I'm just building. I might do a couple episodes where once I get around to it, like doing some redstone stuff, um, I don't know yet, like, this is just, it was just an idea I, I had, because, I mean, I've been playing Minecraft for a long time, and it's, it's still fun, uh, it's, it's one of the few games that I've been playing on and off for years, and I can still keep coming back to, um, you know, whether it's modded or just vanilla or things like that, there's always something to do, and this is just something that, since they added like the old, not the newest Minecraft launcher, but the one prior to it, where you could download like the older versions of Minecraft. I just had the idea of, I'm like, well, what if, like, there's not really much point of going back and playing the old versions of Minecraft unless you have an objective. And I sort of, I've decided I'm going to set myself this objective. And I'm also, while I'm here, going to get myself some more of this coal stone. I really miss this gravel texture, by the way. I think it's a really nice texture. I much prefer it to the new one. It's the new one's like it's nice, it's subtle, but I like how this this gravel texture. It's like got that more of a pinky color. It's very in your face. All right. Well, that's all the cobblestone I'm getting. I'll end up with ten. Okay, that's enough for a few tools. That's cool. Um, I'm gonna have to try and where's the sun gone? Uh oh. Is it that late already? Okay, the sun is going to start setting soon. Like, very, very, very soon. Which has me very worried. Um, I'm going to have to deal with spiders. Can I make slabs in this version? Nope. Slabs were not... Slabs weren't around back then. Okay, um... Hmm. I'm gonna get some more wood. I'm gonna make myself. I'm not gonna do a roof. I'm gonna make myself a like spider-proof lip um, if I have time. Where I just put like a little edge around, like eaves around the house, and hope that spiders don't mess me up. So I collect some more wood. It's getting dark very, very quickly. Um, there's no like subtle shade, like you know, fade to black in this. It's just. You can see it there, it's just jerking like black, black, black. We've got stars coming out. Right, that should be enough. I hope. Perfect. Okay, that'll stop spiders from being able to get in my house. And it will keep me safe. Let's quickly make some torches. Yep, a stack, that's good. Put these around. Okay. And this is the first shelter. Can I make... Oh, I don't even... Mm. I'm going to quickly try and get some more wood. I want to know, I don't know if I can make signs in this version. Like, I've had, I had a quick glance at the Minecraft wiki of, um, what items are available in this version, but I can't remember them off the top of my head. 
so I'm gonna just see. I know there's like all the different colors of wool and things like that because, um, you know, like, uh, pixel art has been a thing forever in Minecraft since like the old, old, old classic versions of the old, um, there was a free version of Minecraft online that you could play and it was just a uh, creative, creative mode. It was good fun, but yeah, that was all just like people using gold blocks and diamond blocks and things like that to um, do really cool pixel art. I can make a sign, okay. This is going to be... Um, I can't put them on walls yet, okay. Um, let's call this... InfDev House 1. I don't know if I'm gonna, well, I don't know how many houses I'm gonna end up building, but I just wanna have them named. Um, kind of weird that there's no enemies around. Am I definitely playing it? Yeah, I'm playing it on hard. Hmm. Okay. Oh, wow, I can't even pass through the sign. That's. Wow. Things you take for granted. Okay. So I've got myself a shovel. I figure while it's night time, I might as well be a little bit productive. Um,. This is going to be a little bit awkward digging in the sand because of the way like that is going to keep happening where sand keeps cascading. Um, I have to build myself some supports with this cobblestone. If I do that, well, there's no point doing it there because it's not like it's going to come down. But I can just like do this and like that. That's what I'm going to have to do as I dig my way down. He's just block it in. Uh, I got heaps of torches here. All right, the hotkeys work, so I can still press like one, like you know, one through nine to access my hotbar. Uh, I may want to make myself a new shovel though, because that stone one is getting a little bit dead. Let's do that. You know what? And I'm also going to make the first chest. I remember these chests before they had animations. You ready? Check this out. Look at that. It's a solid block. Um, I don't have enough to make another one, but yeah, it's just crazy. Okay, so let's put all this stuff in here. So I've already got myself a fair few items. Um, I'm going to have to make up a checklist of everything and maybe attach it to the video somewhere. Like, as I put stuff in the, in the chest here, I might have like a checklist pop up on the side and I just tick stuff off. That's, that's a good idea, actually. I like that. Oh, yep, that shovel didn't last. Okay. I don't know if ravines... Oh, when did ravines get added? Um, that's the thing with this, is that I pretty much have to forget everything I know about Minecraft and start again. Which is kind of the whole point, I guess. Because so, if I could find a ravine, that would just be great. Um then I'd have, you know, access to everything. All the resources. But I don't know... I don't think they were added until, like, Alpha or... Maybe even Beta? So I might not even have caves to deal with. I might just be digging through solid stone looking for chunks of iron. Which... That's going to be challenging. So let's carry on digging down. This is going to be... A pain. Um, actually, I might make a furnace. Because me saying this is going to be a pain just gave me the idea. I can turn. Actually, let's get this furnace out of that side. Oh wow, look at how long that takes to break. Okay. I can turn. Oh, it only faces that way. Alright. I can turn the. Gl anyway, as I'm saying. I can turn sand into glass, I believe. Yes. So that's another block off the checklist. Oh, we've got some more coal here. That's handy. I don't even think... Yeah, there's no F3 menu, so I can't even see how far... Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm getting flooded in. Oh, no. Okay. Um, yeah, I can't even see sort of how long, um, like how deep I am. 
I'm just gonna have to wing it and hope for the best. Um, like, you know, dig down to bedrock and then work my way up to find diamond. That's gonna be the, that's gonna be the fun part of this, is finding diamond. Finding diamond and trying not to get lost without coordinates. Ah, the old days. If you have any suggestions, like if there's any features that you want to see me explore from like other versions of Minecraft, just you know, drop me a comment. Um, send me a tweet at the Dan Six as well if you want to communicate. Because I usually I check my Twitter. Oh my God, Iron, one Iron. That's terrible. Yeah, I use my Twitter quite often. Um, I'm not sure how YouTube really works. Like they, they keep changing their commenting and stuff. So yeah, at the Dan Six on Twitter. There'll be links in there. Uh, description and stuff. Carrying on here. There's all of that. I got one piece of iron ore. That's kind of rubbish. It's not really going to be helpful for much. Alright, there we go. Look at that. So we can use this to dress up the house a little bit. There we go. Ah, did not mean to fall down there. No. I don't remember placing that torch up there either. Ooh. There it is. Oh, there's a spider over there. There's our first mob. I might make a sword. Just a basic stone sword. Because just in case something does decide to pop in here. I don't really want to go looking for fights right now. Um, shut that. Since I don't have any armor at all, I'm gonna want to get like some iron armor or something like that. Right, I'm gonna carry on down here, um, and I'll cut back if I find anything interesting. I just had a really quick thought. Um, looking at this gave me an idea that okay, if you ever look down at my um, health bar you'll notice that there's no hunger. So this, um, the old way, instead of like eating food and slowly regenerating health, you'd eat food to instantly restore your hunger. And the only way to get seeds back in the day was to do that just as I did there. You get a hoe, you right click on the sand, you till it, and you get, um, you get seeds. So I'm going to set myself up a little bit of a farm behind the house because I'm like, there's not a whole lot of pigs or anything like that around. Um, it's going to get... Like, food is going to become a problem very quickly. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep dying. And at this point, there's no such thing as a bed. So... I kind of want to stay alive as long as possible. Otherwise, I'm going to keep respawning. Like, you know, it's sure, it's only a couple of hundred blocks that way. Or like, you know, a hundred blocks or so in that direct, Like, over in that direction. But it's still a pain. So... I'm going to kill those pigs as well because I'm gonna, going to need some food, like now. Um, I don't know how I've taken damage. I did fight a spider, but I didn't think it hurt me. Alright, let's till this. There we go. What's going on there? I thought I... That's better. Hopefully this... I'm sure this will be enough to keep it wet. But keep the farmland damp. Alright, let's get... Let's kill some pigs. Get some food. Get out of the way. Yeah, piggy, piggy, piggy. Oh no! Okay, so shift does not work to keep you on ledges. Um... Yeah, there's no... No shift to crouch. Okay, that's something that nearly got me killed. Down to four hearts of health. So these pigs and their pork chops are definitely going to help me. Um, I think they're the only source of, like, meat this early on in the game. Um, I don't think cows have been implemented yet. I know that pork chops don't stack, as we're about to see here. Oh, that one didn't even drop a pork chop! Rude! How rude! I might as well... Well... 
I don't have to murder the sheep, but I can just punch it, get the wool. Because I'm going to want to start collecting that and these flowers. Because I'm going to be dyeing the wool. Actually, can I... How is this done? Maybe colored wool is a creative mode only. Um, I, with things like that, that like you, I, it's only stuff that I can obtain in survival mode that I'm going to be including on the checklist. If I can't get certain colors of like wool or anything like that, I'm not going to be getting it. Things like the cogs that were in this version, you can only get those in by cheating them in. Um, same as like crying obsidian, um, things that were never officially implemented. I'm not going to worry about, like, they, they don't count towards my, my personal, like, this, you know, they don't count towards my completion. If I have to cheat it, it's not real. Alright, I thought, I was hoping, mm, I was really hoping for a couple more pigs, but, alas, it was not to be. Oh, wow. There's a pig. There's another pig. Okay. Come here, you. Gotta be careful with how far I drop. He, did he just drop two, two pork chops? I like that pig. Come on. I saw another one up here. Kill this one, that'll be another. There we go. Come back here. Oh, there's more of them. How did I just... I must have just walked straight past these. Although they do move quite quickly. Like, they don't just stand still anymore. <laughs> like, in this, they... They keep moving. Oh, there's a cave! Hang on. I'll kill this pig. I'll kill this pig. There we go. Come here, you. Ah. Okay. Check this out. Whoa! Cave! Hmm... Huh. This might be worth exploring. Oh, this is definitely worth exploring. Okay, I'm gonna go and cook this bacon. Oh, and I'm gonna get this iron while I'm here too. Definitely wanna get some iron if I'm gonna go caving. Because this will contribute towards tools and armor, probably armor to begin with. Um, all right seven bits of iron now, so I can make myself a pair of pants. Which I know isn't ideal, but you know, it's enough to get me started. Keep me alive for a little bit longer. Let's hope that grows quickly too. Alright. Cook the bacon. Put that in there. This is the worst thing about stuff that doesn't stack, is smelting stuff that doesn't stack. Because you've got to do it one thing at a time. So you put that in, take out the pork chop, put the other one in. That looks like the new beef texture. And yeah, you just instantly eat it. There's no like, nom 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 nom. It's just, it's there. Hearts go up. Everybody's happy. Okay, back to full hearts. Well, I feel like this is a good time to end off this episode. If you like what you're seeing, drop me a like and subscribe to see the rest of me trying to complete Minecraft. You know, a game that has no end, I am going to try and find an end. Um, but yeah, thanks a lot for watching. Be sure to check out the next episode, stay tuned, check me out on Twitter as well, and I will see you in the next episode. Peace out guys.